appear by themselves. The Arhats and Pratyika Buddhas do not have these prerogatives. This is why the Prajnaparamita Sutra says here. The Bodhisattva who wants to outshine the Sravakas and Pratyika Buddhas should practice the perfection of wisdom. Fourth section Obtaining the Gates of Recollection and Concentration. Sastra. Dash. I. Gates of Remembrance. In regard to Dharanis, refer to the Sanpo S.A. The gates of the Dharanis are preparatory practices to obtaining the Dharanis. In a similar way, the three concentrations, samadhis, are called gates of deliverance. What are these preparatory practices? 1. Sruthadharadharani Dharani for retaining what one has heard. 1. Whoever wishes to retain that which he has heard must think of it attentively so as to develop his memory. First he should think of an analogous thing, already familiar to him and to join that to his mind so as to discover a thing that he has not yet seen. Thus Cheu Li Pan Takia paid so much attention to cleaning leather shoes that his mind became concentrated and he eliminated the stains of his mind. In the beginner, this is the Dharani of retaining what one has heard. When one is able to retain what one has heard three times, the faculty of the mind is developed and sharpened. When one can retain what one has heard twice, it is strengthened. When one can retain what one has heard once, it is acquired and one does not forget anything. That is the first exercise of the dharani of retaining what one has heard. 2. Sometimes the bodhisattva who has entered into concentration obtains the liberation free of forgetfulness and by its power he retains. Without forgetting all the words and sermons down to the smallest syllable and the smallest phoneme. That is the second practice. 3. Sometimes by the power of a magical phrase, the bodhisattva obtains the dharani of retaining what he has heard. 4. Finally, sometimes on assuming a rebirth as a result of actions of his previous lifetimes, he retains all that he has heard and does not forget. That is what is called the gate of remembrance of retaining what one has heard. 2. Gosapravsatharani. The dharani of entering into the true nature of articulated sounds. Furthermore, the bodhisattva, hearing articulated sounds, words, distinguishes their beginning and end and considers their true nature. He knows that these words arise and perish from moment to moment. Normally, when articulated sounds have just perished, beings recall them and grasp their characteristics. Thinking of these words that have just perished, they say to themselves. This man has insulted me, and they feel hatred. Mutatis mutandis, if it is a matter of praise, it is the same. The Bodhisattva, however, considers beings in such a way that, although they may have insulted him for a hundred thousand kalpas, he has no hatred. They may have praised him for a hundred thousand kalpas, he has no joy. He knows indeed that articulated sounds arise and perish like an echo and, like the sound of a drum, they are without an agent. Without an agent, they are without stability and, being absolutely empty, they deceive only the ears of fools. That is what is called the dharani of entering into the true nature of articulated sounds. 3. Aksaraprevsatharani the dharani of penetrating the phonemes e because all dharmas are rid of dust. The latter par is gate because all dharmas are signs of the absolute. The letter ca is gate because all dharmas are. Furthermore, there is a dharani that, by using the 42 phonemes, includes all words and names. What are these 42 phonemes? a, lo, po, cho, na, etc. The first phonema condenses the phrase a t a n e o u po nai. A t, in the language of the sin, means beginning. A n e o u po nai, in the language of the sin, means unborn. As soon as the bodhisattva who is practicing this dharani hears the phoneme a, at once he penetrates that fact that all dharmas are unborn from the beginning. And so on for the other phonemes, etc. 
to the extent that they hear them, the bodhisattva penetrates even further into the true nature of dharmas. This is called the dharani of penetrating the phonemes. In the Moho Yen Pin, these Aksaramakas will be discussed. The Bodhisattva who acquires all the concentrations of the three times, concentration of unhindered brilliance, etc. acquires each of these innumerable incalculable Dharanis. Together, they are given the name of Pankchasatadharanamukha. The five hundred means of memorizing and constitute the treasury of the good attributes and qualities of the Bodhisattva Samadhi belonging to the Sravaka system. 2. Samadhi belonging to the Mahayana system. 1. Sravaka concentrations. The Samadhis belonging to the Sravaka system are the three Samadhis. 1. Samadhi of emptiness. 2. Of signlessness and 3. Of wishlessness. There are also three samadhis. 1. Sunyata Sunyata Samadhi, 2. Anamatani Mitta Samadhi, 3. Apranihita Pranihita Samadhi. There are also three other samadhis. 1. With examination and analysis, 2. Without examination and with analysis only, 3. With neither examination nor analysis. There is also the five membered samadhi, the innate samadhi of five knowledges. All are called samadhi. Moreover, all the absorptions are sometimes called samapati and sometimes samadhi. The four trances are sometimes called dhyana, sometimes samapati and sometimes samadhi. The other absorptions with the exception of the four trances are sometimes called samapati amd sometimes samadhi, but not dhyana. The absorptions coming under the ten levels of the sravaka are called samadhi.